Hello everybody, it's Tommy Gaming here. Today I'm playing Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village, which as you all know is a sequel to Resident Evil 7, and we're going to get into this. Oh, I'm a dumbass and I'm going to do this anyway. Let's do Village of Shadows. Oh, I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> I always love a challenge and that's just me. And that's just how I work. And I'm going to die. Definitely going to die a lot. I do not want to have the same thing happen with Resident Evil 7. And my computer have problems and I have to wait four years to play the game again. So I'm just going to binge through as many videos as I can. And that is the plan. Now the only thing I know about this game is what I saw in the trailer. Otherwise, I know nothing else. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Very Tim Burton-esque animations. The rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the bat lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. I don't like how it ended on that note. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. The woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Okay, who's the woman at the store? Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I have a real I'm reason sorry. to be paranoid. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. Nope, didn't say Nothing. shit. I ain't getting caught. I didn't say nothing. Okay, where the hell is the staircase? Once you're a big girl, 
we'll have a drink together. All right? That's nice. <sighs> Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has? That's insulting. I have great taste in music, I bet. You hungry? No? Maybe later then. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. I have learned nothing. I could have stares it that way. Anything else here I can look at? Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Uh, the fact that it's... No, go back to sleep. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. It's all nice and calm right now, but I'm on the hardest difficulty and I fucked myself. Your mom and I love this song so much. I know I fucked myself. No map? Okay. This is a shower. So, baby's room is either over there or over here? No, okay, I'm imagining Almost things. There, honey. Cause that's not creepy at all! I didn't even open the door! I'm gonna look around before anything else happens because everything else is bullshit. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Curtain closes on Dolby gas incident. They said it was a gas leak, okay. Current whereabouts are unknown. already that's nice if it was that easy to disappear you would have done it faster man George Trevor y'all know me I always like to write down anything that could be a clue to anything later we all know this game is about vampires and other creatures that go bump in the night Everybody here probably watched the trailer and saw what the game is about. This is a lovely room. Oh, we all share a room. Okay. What's tomorrow? Question mark. Why open something if I can't look at it? That's it. No more. There's like five pictures in here, man. Okay, there's more. I wish it could stay like this forever. It probably won't. Gun survival is... It's not paranoia. Did that say Kendo? Joseph Kendo. Was that his name in Resident Evil 2? 3? Whichever one was it? <laughs> well, hi there, little Rose. The guy who uh, gave you guns later for the stars? Examine. Okay. Still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. Okay. Rose is fine. I think I've looked at everything there is. Can't keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. <laughs> 
There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Turn on the baby monitor or something, man. Those weird fairy tale monsters get you. I trust nothing. Hello. I'm back. What's for dinner? Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't no. understand why you are so- <laughs> Kendo in Resident Evil 2. Mia! Get down. Was oh shit. Jesus! And I'm not even okay. She's taking all the hits. What the fuck? Oh my god! How many fucking bullets was that? Mia. Oh god. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. Dude, you're looking evil as hell. No. And then she survived long enough to take five more hits or something. What the fuck? So, did did Chris have like a psychotic break and become evil? Go on, move. And now they're taking my baby. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Great. Back and secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. And unconscious. Rose. Get, him. get me out of here. This is my fucking house. I have numerous questions now. Why why do all the trouble of moving us here? He's, he said Chris moved them here, relocated them, and then do that to me. Why take the baby? Why shoot Mia like a bajillion times? Am I flashbacking? Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about them. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. Results we'll about what? That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just. Mia, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. I was going to say Kendo from Resident Evil 2, his name was Robert. Does he have a brother? Or something? Because the gunmaker's name was Robert. He did all the Stars guns, I'm pretty sure. My phone's still ringing? I have a bunch of theories going on in my head now about what the fuck just happened.
Answer the damn phone. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off my phone. Fuck. That was one of their phones. Okay. So did my place just get fucking hit by a tornado? What happened to you? This is a truck. Okay. I'm not even in my place anymore. It's useless. Mission objectives. Eliminate target. Recover body. Secure. Rose for winners. Need the winners. Move the two winters is to site C for further investigation. These tr two transports. Okay. Nothing about Mia's on here, which makes me think that that wasn't my wife and something was impersonating her. What the hell? That's one theory now, I guess. Another theory is Chris is evil. Why would they take the baby unless it had to do something about her? Maybe it has something to do with that doctor's appointment. Maybe something's wrong with her. Maybe the cure didn't work on Mia and the baby's got mold and stuff. I have multiple, multiple theories. And I'm going to die of hypothermia. Is that something creeping in the forest or is that just the wind? Oh, fuck. Why did I put this on the hardest game mode? <laughs> Oh shit, okay, now my paranoia is getting to me. Do not enter. Well, there's nothing I can do. Oh no. Cut his hand after he lost his hand last time. Anything could happen. Rock slide? Nah, that's not accidental. Bunch of dead fucking birds. Something else is just ahead of me. Because this isn't creepy at all. That was still alive. Do I get a weapon? Can I please have a weapon? Oh good, more zombies. Or homeless people. Could be either. There's this nice little shack that I assume is a nice little shack. Shit, there's nothing here to use. This is probably how I die. Yeah. Oh, good, a basement. just says underground <laughs> I 
Okay. That doesn't help me at all. Shit. Now it sounds like somebody's upstairs. They're behind me. Or they're upstairs and I was right. Jesus, hell. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. And what the fuck went through here? What did all this? Uh, infected moose? It's suddenly morning now. I guess that's a good sign. But it came through that door and ran out here. So that it didn't come through here. It was here. Well, night ended very quickly. If I'm lucky, nothing comes out during the day. I can move. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. I'm gonna slide down this, I guess. Shit, don't break your legs. Anything I can grab? Dead horse! I can grab. Well, something's in that well, I'll tell you that much. I should go back and look around just in case. I can't do this later. No, something happened here. They're either they're not out, they're probably dead. There's that picture again. Oh, I hate blind runs. Especially was that the horse? Fuck. I hate blind runs, especially when they're on the hardest difficulty, and I don't have a gun. I need a crank. Oh, God. Well, the, it should be around here. Possibly, if I'm not stupid. Yeah, if I'm definitely not stupid, I could solve this puzzle. locked look around for the crank if there's a crank and it might not be here it could be later on in the story I find it have to come back but I'm gonna search anyway let me go back and loop around
Doesn't look like it's a bucket. It looks like it's something bigger than a bucket. Crank, crank, needles, crank. No crank. No crank! Truck or is it okay, it's just a truck from here. Oh god. The paranoia, I don't care if it's in time, the paranoia is getting to me. Music? Is that from my house? Did I stop here? How is somebody upstairs when there isn't an upstairs? Some kind of fetus symbol? Does that have something to do with my baby? His baby? Okay, blue means searched. Red means doesn't. So there is something still around earlier. Another outhouse that I can't open. Fan fucking tastic. Well, the gate is probably the safest place to stay and end the video. Hopefully, the mountains are gorgeous. It's all foggy as hell like Silent Hill. And I'm paranoid as all ever-loving fuck. But, as usual, we're going to have time for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And hopefully, i catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. See you later.